Dennis, thanks very much for joining us. A lot of focus are around uh, debt financing, um, those areas. Um, how are you seeing that in terms of particularly the debt gap? We at AW done a research project in collaboration with Nicole Lux from former CAS uh, Business School, which is now the City Business School. But what we've done, we've tried to quantify the debt funding gap. And what is the debt funding gap in a nutshell? It basically looks at the refinancing of the former loan. So basically, if we look at an, at an example, there was a loan that was signed, for example, in 2015-16. After five years, we assume that the loan needs to be refinanced. However, there has been drops in capital value since. There has been a decrease in the loan to value. If the loan that was originated in 2016 can't be covered with the loan that's going to be written today, then there's a gap between the two. And this financing gap is, uh, is very interesting because we quantified it for the UK and Germany. And in the UK, we quantified it to be around 30 billion. But interestingly, we just saw the news coming out of, of NetWest in, in the UK, uh, bringing out a UK NPL portfolio. So we can already see the first effects of, of the crisis hitting into these distressed opportunities that will come to the markets. So I think that with that, the NPL market might reawaken uh, now and, and will pick up in the uh, remainder of the year. Yeah, I think that's going to be a story that's going to run over the course of this year for certain. Um, thanks very much for joining us, Dennis. Thank you, Richard.